Boom, welcome to another video of the Flowing Dutchman. Now this is a question I get so much, so I just decided to make a video about it. Um, which mace should I buy when I start practicing with the mace? And before I answer the question, I got a story because before I got any equipment with swinging, um, I, I thought about buying a club bell. So I did. And uh, you know which weight I bought? 15 kilograms, which is about 33 pounds. Now that is a heavy club bell. It's one of the heaviest there is. Um, now because I was quite strong, I actually could do something with it, but in hindsight, I'm, it was much better if I bought a lighter weight. Now with the mace, I almost did the same thing. I bought a four kilogram, which was meant for my coaching classes. And I bought a 12 kilogram, which I eventually didn't end up um, getting because it was sold out. So I only got the four kilogram. And then uh, I remember swinging that for the first time in my living room and it just felt amazing. But I was so happy I didn't bought the 12 yet. Because now, of course, I have more heavy ones. So there are a few things you have to consider before you buy a mace. And of course, I can tell you, you know, oh, 12 kilograms is way too heavy. But of course, you think you're pretty strong, so you could handle it, which I did myself as well. But your ego cannot lift such a heavy mace. Well, it probably can lift it like this. But that is not the exercise you want to do. Because you buy a mace to actually swing with it. And as you can see, when I swing, that head goes all the way around my body. So it's outside of my body. So think about this mace, it's hollow, right? It's on the end. So this means that if I hold it here, it's quite light. If I hold it here, it starts to become more heavy. So the leverage weight is now up to, I'm not sure what it is exactly is, but it's around 40 kilogram. It's, it's pretty heavy. Now, if your technique isn't that good yet, and if you're still trying to learn your technique, swinging and then trying to stop it will be way too heavy. So, in that sense, buying a lighter weight is key. Now, I've also got my eight kilograms here, which was the second mace I got. Now, I remember um, swinging this mace for the first time and doing some more repetitions with it. And eventually I ended up having some back pain. You, what you have to keep in mind is that if you start with such a heavy weight, and for a mace, eight kilograms, which is about 17 pounds, is quite a lot of weight. You really have to put in your, to use your body to get that thing around you. Now, of course, you can do standard things like a squat or a switch. But whenever you start swinging, it will be too heavy to learn a new move. And that is why my advice will always be start with one of the lowest weights you can get, which is about 10 pounds. Now, why? Because it's not like a dumbbell. If you buy a dumbbell, you know, you get a two kilogram dumbbell, right? You can, oh, I got this exercise done and you'll never come back to it. With a mace, it's different because there are so many rotations and moves you can actually do. Trying to learn new ones will always bring you back to the light weight. And it, it is not the case that if you can do a 360 with a heavy weight, you can do another exercise with the same weight because you can do a 360. Because every time you have to learn that new technique. So I would always recommend going for a 10 pound, four kilogram, five kilogram mace whenever you start. There are lighter maces. You can also buy those, but just make sure it's the same length. It's about one meters long. If it's 
less tall, you won't be able to do the same exercises with it and it's more like a club bell. So we had that out of the way, always buy a light mace. But if you want to invest more and think about your future um, goals and you think, hey, I'm quite good with technique and I can do the kettlebell swing and stuff, um, so I will get that technique down pretty quick so I will move up in weight and then go back to my lower weight. So you want to buy more maces. Now, what is my second mace to buy? Good question, <laughs> even though I asked it myself. I'd recommend a 6 or an 8 kilogram, which is about 13, 14, 15 pounds to about, uh, what is it, 17, 18, 19 pounds, um, up to 20. Why? Um, because if you go even heavier than that, that is too much. Whenever you buy a new mace, it should always be around 4 kilograms up in weight. The way I measure uh, going up in weight is sufficient is I can actually do a one-handed swing. So if I can do a one-handed swing with a 10 pound, I will be able to do a two-handed swing with a 20 pound. And that, in that way I went all the way up to 20 kilograms. So if you're quite a strong guy, it still depends on what you want to do with it. So if you want to flow with it, so do all the moves, try to get it up on top and in the middle, I'd still suggest getting a 6 kilogram. If you want to do 10 to 2s uh, or 300s and 360s and just want to do wrap on wrap on wrap, then I'd recommend getting a 8 kilograms. If you're not that strong yet, I'd suggest getting a 6 kilogram as your second mace. You'll be able to move up and down and alter between those weights. I hope this video was helpful and as always don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and say some good stuff and ask more questions and I'll see you in the next video. Ram ram.